Alright guys, welcome back to Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. We are now on part 12 and at critical health as we now begin the ascent of Ganon's Tower. Um... Yeah, spikes. But... There is a health refill right here as soon as I get it with magic power. There we go. Now that we've gotten rid of that annoying little bit. Oh. Uh... Ah, bookshop! Really? Okay, whatever. Oh yeah, you are immune to... You are immune to the sword arm. That's fucked. Ah! Really? There we go. Okay. Uh, oh, that's right. Come on. Come on, Link. You can... You know what? I hardly ever get to use these things, so I might as well take advantage of them. Really? Oh, really? Uh, are you kidding me? Ow. Trap. Of course! Kill the enemies in the room. Don't push the hidden block. Ow. Ow. Ow! Stop it. Laser. Ow! Uh, okay. Oh yeah, these are things that need to happen on day. Ow. That was unnecessary. Whoa! Uh, um, there we go, Doc. Oh, so this is a uh, trick. So you got that there. So what you're supposed to do. Haha! And health. There we go. Yeah, hey, now I get rid of that annoying thing. Why does the statue shoot lasers? Why do they feel a need for the statue to shoot lasers? Ah. 
Why is there ice? This is just unnecessary. Ow. Ow. Two swipes of the golden sword to kill, as opposed to like what is that? Sixteen hits from the master or from the original sword. Oh come on! No, oh, stop going away. Take the hit and die. Okay, on to the next floor, yay. How many more floors do we have to go? Three more floors. Oh, really? With ropes. Like skull with ropes. Ow. Oh, I gotta kill these guys. Fortunately, unlike original, the old with ropes, they don't move around. They just stay right where they are. Invincibility during the hookshot shot ending. Oh, they're also in the hookshot. Okay. Anyway. Um. Oh, yes. We have another light the torches puzzle because yes, this game likes its light the torches puzzles. Shiny new golden sword and just whack him. Oh. 
Yay, two hits. Alright, so, um... Okay, where are we supposed to... Oh, there we go. to the top of Ganon's Tower. So who shall we fight at the top of Ganon's Tower? But, oh, look, it's Aghanim. And he summoned Bites. Because of course he does. And it's the same strategy as the first time. Now, the clone Aghanim's Always throw out the reflectable shots. Oh yeah, and trying to actually whack Aghanim in person only results in pain. Now that we have defeated Aghanim again, and Ganon has crashed him down into his pyramid, uh, we can go fight him. But, you know, I'd rather not, because we still have two pieces of heart left to locate. I'm not entirely sure where they are, honestly. Um, let me see here. Uh, sure, I have an idea where one might be, so before we go after Aghanim, let's go and head back to the world of lights. Oh. Yeah, they, um... The Hyrule Castle Gate is a permanent warp zone to the Dark World as well. I'll take you right in front of the castle. sure one of the remaining heart pieces that I missed is here in the light. I want to double check and make sure. Alright, so we head over here, back towards Sanctuary. So we need to go around here. Did I already get this one? Yeah, I did already get this one. Okay, so... Scratch that one off the list. Alright, we got all the mini games. Oh, that. Um, let's see here. Let's trying to think of what pieces of heart I still have yet to obtain. Time and effort. Really? Alright, so anyway. Off we go. Alright, 
and up we go. We are almost fully upgraded. There's two missing pieces of heart. Uh, find them later. So, Ganon is fairly simple. He throws his spear at you, which hones around. He summons these little balls, or these little fireballs, as a shield. They turn into bats, chase after you. They deal a lot of damage. He likes to teleport around a lot. He also likes to give you a ton of free hits. At this point, that we are actually in endgame, um, because this is this is an automatic thing where um, after you deal a certain amount of damage to him, he will collapse the floor. If you fall, it will not, or you will actually end the battle and get. Well, here we'll show you. Okay, you fall here, you actually exit the battle. And you get sent to this little room over here, where... Oh, look. Yeah, a uh, clue to how to kill him. Which, if you played the original Zelda, you should already know. And then you're, t you're taken right to here. And you have to go back up and fight Ganon all over again. Which is fine. Alright. So, final battle. Take two. Yeah, you will you will take a lot of damage fighting Ganon if you're not smart about it. You know, basically doing what I'm doing. That's fine. I've got fairies. I had fairies. Um, well, that happened. Yeah, so, uh, with that in mind, actually... Um... Let's actually have a chat with the witch. I've got, I've got millions of rupees that I have absolutely no use for. All right. Now that we have all of our, now that we are completely full up on life and magic bottles. Do this. this game, folks. Take four.
on, stop teleporting me. Alright, so now that we are in the end game, actually, let's take a moment to heal. We're going to need this. Now he summons the secret technique of darkness, which where he basically makes things invisible. And then you have to whack him with the sword and shoot him with an arrow. And you have to do this three times to kill him. But you can only do it while the You can only do it while the light is on. And he likes to be invulnerable for a large portion of the fight. Thanks to all of his freaking teleporting. Oh, actually, it's more than three times. Okay, sure. Fine. There we go. Four times. Okay. By the way, don't fall. Take five. Yes, big move game. No, oh, that's that's me just showing off something really stupid. But yes, if you to fight and defeat Ganon and then you fall, guess what? Don't care. You gotta do it all over again. There's a reason why the game does not let you pause at that point. Oh. 
There's actually no point in actually attacking him at this point once he's breaking the um, once he's uh, breaking the floor because he's already at low enough health that it's just going to take the four silver arrows to kill him. Okay, well maybe we do actually need a whack. Oh, friggin' get back here. You can also kind of predict where he goes by watching how he teleports. Alright. Yay! So, fighting Ganon six times, killing him twice. Alright. Let's get our ending. Triforce, we won the game. We're so good at this thing. We get uh, basically like a little cast list as well as uh, what happened to everyone that you met over the course of the game, more or less. Okay, your uncle recovers from death.
about that. until the next time we need a hero. From what I understand, I believe Link to the Past is actually supposed to be the first game in the Zelda timeline. Um, so, of course, the Master Sword does not sleep forever, but yeah, either way. Alright guys, enjoy the credit roll. Thank you. 
showing all of my deaths. Not that many, actually, surprisingly. Um, And that was Legend of Zelda a Link to the Past. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, stay tuned. I've still got a little bit more to do for tonight. Um, so I'll be back in a few minutes. See you guys in a little bit.